Hey guys, what's up? Just coming out of our house here, our beautiful house located in kind of downtown demo company land. Um, yeah, anyways, back with another demolition company video. And what were we doing? Well, let's head to the company and see if they have any contracts for us. So we were working on the industrial district, is that what it was? The industrial district. Well, if we we can do job sharing if we buy this guy. So we have one hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars in change, and we're level five, considered an engineer. Um, this is going to cost us one hundred and twenty thousand for this wrecking ball to do that mission. Anything else? Is that the same thing? Oh, that's the big wrecking ball for two hundred forty grand. No, we can't afford that. But we could do those two missions if we bought that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Industrial district. That's what I just looked at, right? The freight yard. We were working on the freight yard. Monument preservation. If we go ahead and buy this wheel excavator for 80000 we can do that one. We did that. Um, 120000 Wow. Okay, so basically we need to buy equipment. Either need to buy equipment. Uh, that's what I did before, wasn't it? I loaded everything. I, I destroyed this building, then we loaded it into the crusher and crushed up all that... that um, the debris into gravel or something. So either way, it looks like I'm buying either the wheel excavator or the small wrecking ball. I don't know what to go with. Let's see. 25000 for bonus on success for that one. 15000 for that one. Well, monument preservation. The old station building has been in disuse for years, and it evidently looks that way. Since it's apparently under preservation order it needs to remain untouched for now the awning however is under no such preservation order and you can tear it the hell down use the wheel excavators compressor and try and keep any damage to the main building to a minimum oh okay push the resulting debris with the wheel loader into the freight wagons that are positioned near the platform's border interesting or unpreserved a bit of research in the city achieves uh, a bit of research in the city archives revealed that the station building isn't under any preservation order at all. Time to make it level with the ground. <laughs> use the wrecking ball and wheel loader as you like. You can even use the compressor and try to bring down the station by hand. Explosives are not allowed, though, because residents were complaining about the noise. Well, screw them. We need to bring the building down. Once you've demolished the building, you can push the rubble into the freight wagons. Uh... Okay, let's do this one first. So we're going to buy the small wrecking ball, 120000 So this one we're going to use the jackhammer. Well, we have the better jackhammer. We're going to use the small wrecking ball and the front end wheel loader. So tear down the stations with the available vehicles. Use the wrecking ball for the initial rough work. And after that, demolish the still standing parts with the wheel loader's compressor. Push parts of the resulting debris into the freight wagons. If vehicles get stuck in the rubble, you can free them by dislodging jammed pieces with the sledgehammer or the jackhammer. So what's coming down? The entire building. See? And then the whole building's coming down. And then it's going into these... We're just pushing it over there? Alright. Works for me. Let's go ahead and load up into the small wrecking ball. The wrecking ball. Yeah. Oh, that's a better view. There we go. Yes, we got the three views. Um, so the whole thing's coming down? I see. Oh, hey, I see debris up there. Or I see um metal. Oh, there's metal up here, too. There's metal over on that one, on that other little building over there. Okay, so, how do we raise and lower this? So we can pull it back, we can drop this down. That's how you get a swing. Oh, oh, it just taps off the wall. We can, can we pivot it? Oh, that's how you raise and lower that. And we can turn this, right? Okay. So I'm thinking... How do we turn it? Oh boy, here we go. So let's lower this a bit. I guess the lower it is. It's like a pendulum, right? We'll build up momentum. I'm wondering if it's better... Is it better just to turn it like this? Yeah, that, okay, here we go, here we go. It wasn't even... Jesus, that was lackluster.
Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Is that all it's doing? Come on, Wrecking Ball. What is this wall made out of? Am I doing this right? Is this how you... Okay. Apparently I'm terrible with this. Um... Are you supposed to... Maybe I'm just supposed to drop it. Yeah, that does more damage right there. Just drag it? Doesn't seem to do anything. What if I just drive it right into the building? I can do that too, I guess. Although if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it with the... Well, maybe the front end loader is a little small. A little small. Let's just... Can we use this? Yeah, I think I can just use this as a... Like a push rod type thing. Pretty powerful machine. But we're caught up on it now. There we go. Go back and forth with it. Ugh! Oh, push that whole wall down. Now, that's quick. Wow, that was pretty... That was pretty quick. I think I'm hung up on something, though. Let's straighten it out here. Can we get it any lower? I guess we don't need the ball that low, though, do we? Let's pull that up. <laughs> that's, that's as high as it goes, I guess. Um, hmm. And then we're supposed to push it into the train cars over there. Okay, I'm going to pull this up, and I'm going to back it up and get in the loader, I think. Yeah. It's kind of hard to operate that machine. So, it's going in the train cars. Is that what they said? Let's come around this way. Oh, God. Don't go over the edge. Wow. Uh, are we going over the edge? Let's just push these in this general area. Do we have the power to do it? Do we have the power? I think I do. Just very slowly. This is where it's going, right? Over this way? Is that what they said? God, I hope so. Yes, it is. Right over the edge. Um, that's pretty much filled right there. What if it goes? What if it goes over the car? Is that fail? Guess that's fail. Okay. Round two. I'm not gonna push these guys to the to the right, cause well well I guess I can. The car doesn't end. There's still a bit of car there. Actually, yeah, this yeah, this is gonna work out really well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Don't go over the side though. There we go. Wow, that was Keep going. We've almost got this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. They can deal with the cleanup. Get this off my bucket, please. What else we got? Ah, uh, just back it right up into that unit there. No. No, we don't want to get hung up on that. I'm out of backing up room, I think. This is some pro driving. Um, there we go. There we go. Very slowly. Come on, baby. You got the power. Keep going. Keep going. Push, push. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. It's kind of pulling us to the right. Uh-oh. We're out of steam here. Or was my bucket pulling on the ground? That's probably what it was. Bucket was dragging on the ground. I think I'm caught up on something. Yeah, I am. Look at that caught up on this whoa get in there whoa whoa what did I lift up on wow okay oh there's a scrap metal piece hidden in there oh I guess that was from the roof that I knocked down huh ha huh. okay let's get back in this drop the bucket see if we can push some more if we can get it going we push any in here? I think this is what they... Isn't this what they want? I'm surprised I didn't finish it off. I'm 
my god, they do want to push into these train cars, right? Let's come around. Maybe it's like the other one, the other mission I did, where you got... I'm pushing it into the, the train cars. On the other one, I was pushing it into the compressor, or loading everything into the compact, or whatever. And it just had to destroy the building. I bet you it's the same thing. Yup, that's exactly what it was. They just wanted more of the building busted up. Mission complete. Do you want to complete the assignment? Yup. $26,500. Didn't cost us anything. Fuel costs covered by the company, I guess. Successful bonus, $25,000. Time bonus, $12,000. $63,000 for that. Fantastic. Reach level 6. You can now take on assignments at the port. Alrighty. Can I buy anything new? I don't know. Let's go back to the company and see what else they got for us. Um, we haven't done anything in the financial district yet, and the port just opened up. What's this one? The mod district. Oh, it's for mods. Okay. I've never actually downloaded a mod for this game. I'll have to try that after. Can we complete? I want to complete one fully. We still need the crawler excavator for that. And what about this guy? That's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. Was I on it? Missing equipment. We need the wheel excavator for this one. Don't we have that? It did say, look, it did say you have enough money to buy this device. A couple of videos ago, I remember mousing over and it was like, you don't have enough money, but it, it did. That's my my fail English. Um, 80000 for that. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy this and then we'll get it done. Then we'll have the equipment and we'll be able to complete this. Monument preservation. Um... Oh, this is the one from the other video that I did a couple, I don't know if it was last video or two, two videos ago. Uh, the old station building has been in disuse for years and evident, evidently looks that way. Since it's apparently under preservation order, it needs to remain untouched for now. The awning though, I guess these pieces here, or maybe it's this, th no, that's not an awning. I don't know, we'll see. I think it's these things right here, these pillars probably. The awning, however, is untouched, is under no such preservation in order, and, <laughs> oh my god. The awning, however, is under no such preservation order, and you can tear it down. Use the wheel excavator's compressor and try and keep any damage to the main building to a minimum. Push the resulting debris with the wheel loader into the freight wagons, which are positioned near the platform's border, just like we did with the, well, the one we just did. The wheel loader's compressor allows you to remove the awning with a high level of precision. Oh, you can always press G to see what needs to be destroyed. Do that all the time. If you choose so, you can use the explosives to remove the awning. However, you run the risk of damaging the station building itself. Hmm. We'll see. Afterwards, you need to push the debris into the freight wagons until the green bar is full. It's easier to use the loader's bucket to push the rubble directly into the wagons. You don't need to load the debris into the bucket. Yeah, found that out before. Okay, so what do we have? The loader again. Bulldozer, as I call it. Front end loader, whatever. Maybe bulldozer is technically something different, but that's what I call it. Or maybe bulldozer is like the amateur noob name and it's properly called a front end loader. Just stand on top of it here. So, yeah, the red is untouched, the green goes. So it's, it's like I thought. All that green has to come down. So those little slats have to come down. It looks like... like we're in Texas or something like that. These buildings look, um, you know, they have that architecture look, right? That like old school, deserty sand look. Maybe, maybe we're in Dallas or El Paso or something. Plus the fact that there's, um, you know, taco advertisements all over the place. So I like tacos. Don't get me wrong, but fact: fresh tacos are the best tacos. That is a fact. Didn't we destroy you? Um, apparently McFly's campaign was successful. Save the clock tower. So we need to bring these down. We can use this guy, or I guess I could just... Can I just go and manually jackhammer this thing down? Or is that doing... Is that doing damage? To the building? Can I jump? <laughs> I can jump into it. Uh, well, that worked. Let's see if we can do it this way. It might be a little more precise. Am I hitting anything? Or yeah, I am. Okay. Let 
There's that. Oop, there's scrap metal. Scrap metal. Oh, it's starting to come down. If I just continually jump, how much would that weigh? Could you even do that? How much does a jackhammer like this weigh? Really? Okay, we'll take out another one, and I'm hoping maybe by taking this out, it'll start, you know, it won't have the support. Yeah, they're coming down. You know what's holding it up is this one right here still. Looks like those ones are all broken. We'll just jump with our jackhammer. I think probably weighs like 300 pounds. Is this doing anything, or am I just looking like an idiot to everybody watching me? I don't think it's doing anything. Oh, it is, too. Alright. Then again, I guess I could just carry on and take these all out, and theoretically they would all crumble. They would all fall, wouldn't they? Um, there goes that. Whoa, that whole one's coming down. Okay, good. That's good. That's good, though. Still need to get in here with the front end loader and push it all into the freight wagons, but we'll worry about that after. And here comes that. Whoa. Uh, okay. Well, front end loader will get this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I would have wanted to use dynamite on this, or C4, or whatever it is. Knock out this one. So, this is the last pillar. So if I knock this out, this all of these fingers should come down, right? You would think. Um. Okay. I guess that's why they give you that machine. Uh, yeah, let's get in that and play with this guy. Well, that's... Okay, we're getting big on these now. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, I'm coming this way. Do this with some precision. Hopefully. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... Turn it on. It's always good if it's working. Don't just want to use it as a giant, like, sledgehammer. And there it goes. Oh, that... Okay, that did a lot. Do they all have to come down, I wonder? Oh, that's precision right there. How close am I to falling off into this train, though? Hey, is this scrap metal? It is, too. just want to relocate this thing a bit. Um, yeah, we want this view. Wow, that's precision. notch it down a little more. Yep, we're pro here. We're pro. Don't worry about it. We'll get this done for you right quick. There you go. Building on Oh, it's not untouched. It's got a little bit of red, but hey, it's good enough. It's an old building. Let's just blame it on that. So, we'll park this guy over here. Um, yeah, right there is good. And going to jackhammer my uh, bulldozer. Well, theoretically, you would think this would be really easy to do. Let's see. Though I have a feeling when I push this out of the way, I'm going to jam a bunch of it into this building and cause damage. So I'm going to try to line up as best I can. Here, let's go like this. Does that make sense? Try to... Are we doing damage to the building? Let's try to just push it right the hell out of the way. Uh, we'll start turning. There we go. <laughs> the ass end's not going to catch the building, is it? Okay, here we go. Push this crap into this train car. Yup. Yup, they like that. Is that all of it? I can't see. Oh, we still got stuff in the bucket. That's what's going on. Let's push it all right over. All right over. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't, don't get caught up now. Ooh, we're doing damage. I'm doing damage. Okay, yeah, I'm turning around. Don't hit the clock tower. I can't see where that bucket is sitting. Is that right on the ground? Close enough, I think. 
so let's just come in here for another scoop. Oh, I think, yeah, I'm driving it into the building, aren't I? Uh, are we going to catch this train? I think so. Do we have anything in here? Yeah, okay, good. There we go, mission successful. That's all they wanted. They can deal with the rest of it. Let them figure it out. We'll let them figure it out. You complete the assignment. Yes, I do want to end it. Perfect, 13000 Not very much for that. It cost $355. What was the cost? We didn't use dynamite. Did they charge us for the damage to the building? Maybe that's what they did. So $15,000 for successfully completing. $10,000 for the time bonus. Thirty-seven, almost 38000 we made on that. Now we have $56,000. Yeah, that machine was expensive, but you know what? It was worth it because it's really precise. It's easy to control that uh, that um, big front-end loader that I was just on. So, 3,600 XP, 3 out of 8 scrap metal. Do not forget the tutorial. Several tutorials are available that you haven't played yet. Really? Really? I thought... What? What's available? Did that, did that. Wrecking Ball and Wheel Loader. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess because we bought that and didn't do that tutorial. And this one just uh, would have just opened up. I'll go ahead and continue those in the, um, in the next video, I guess. We'll go and do those two tutorials. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.